Okay guys, so as you can glean from the title, we are going to build a taxi booking website and we are going to use one of the most comprehensive solutions available on the market right now because it is literally packed with features. And this taxi booking system will work for a one taxi company, a multi-driver company or even multiple taxi companies run by one centralized solution. Also, everything is fully customizable, like your vehicles, your drivers, your pricing rules, your taxes. Now, this solution is initially intended for taxi booking, but you can also use this for any type of private transfer, like airport taxi, sightseeing tours, hotel transfer, limousine hire, wedding limo, driver hire, event transportation, and even party buses. And you'll end up with a beautiful website like this one with the lovely hero section that says immediately what is it that you do and where you're based. We're going to create two different pages, home page and contact page, and we're going to add call to action buttons like these ones. So if you click on this, it's going to bring you to your booking system immediately. If we scroll down the page, as you can see a short about a section, some pictures of various tours and destinations. So let's go back to our booking system. Again, we have a call to action button here and your visitors can easily book a ride by distance, by hour, or by flat rate. And you can offer them, for instance, city tours like here. So if we go by distance, all we have to do is to select the pickup date, the pickup time, pickup location, drop off location, how many adults and children. Do you want some extra times, perhaps? You can then choose a vehicle. So there you go, as you can see, we have our SUV here for four people, five luggages. You can have extra info as well. This one has air conditioning and leather seats. If you scroll down, you can add extra options. For instance, if you have children, you can add a booster seat or airport assistance. For instance, as you can see here, we'll wait for you with the name tag for half an hour. You could select this. You have a quick overview of your order and then you can go to checkout. And there's obviously a lot more features. OK, so let's get started. OK, so the very first step is to click on the link in the description below where it says get hosting now. And this will bring you to the hosting website. So as you can see here, this is a co-branded page that we have with hosting. So that means that we have negotiated the best terms possible for our audience. So by using the link in the description below, you'll have access to up to 91 percent discount. So depending on seasonal offers, of course. And I'm also going to provide you a coupon called Mr. Web Reviews that will give you access to additional 7% discount. And then from here, all you have to do is either click on this button here, start now, or scroll down the page, and here you can select which web hosting you want to go for. So let's click on select. And now from here, you have to select your billing cycle. As you can see, you have four different options. So let's say if you selected one year, this will give you access to 76% discount. If you selected two years, again, 76% discount. And if you selected four years on the longest billing cycle, you get a whopping 80% discount. So you're saving all together $400 eighty dollars all together so this is massive discount you can get access to and i'm going to give you a coupon code for even additional extra savings so click on have a coupon code and here enter all in capital letters mr web reviews and then click apply and there you go. Instead of $480 savings, we now you save $488 in total. So incredible savings to be made. And then scroll down the page and then select your payment method and proceed to checkout. And now that you're registered with them, you can go back to the home page and click login here. And then you can log into your account. So before you can use their services, you have to confirm that this is you. So normally they would have sent you an email confirmation. If you haven't received it, you can always click on recent activation email, then go to your mailbox and click on the link that's inside that email. OK, and then it will bring you back here and then you'll be OK. So once you've clicked on that link in the email, you can refresh your page and that message should disappear normally. OK, very good. So as you can see, that message is now gone. So the next step is to claim our free domain. So when you build the website, obviously you need a domain name and this is kindly provided for free as part of your premium shared hosting. So all we have to do now is to click on claim domain. And right here, you're going to type in the domain name that you'd like to acquire. So let's say you're building a website related to taxi booking or something like this. Maybe you might be looking for taxi booking website and then you can select your extension. As you can see, you have .in for India, .me for parcel website, .com, which is the most popular one, .fun, .net and so on and so on. So select the one that you prefer, obviously, you know. So let's say if .com is available and then we need to check the availability. So click on this. And as you can see, fortunately enough, this one is available and then we can claim our domain. So all we have to do is click claim domain and then fill out your details. So you have to select your country. So we're based in Ireland ourselves. 
and then you select if it's for personal or business use and then enter your details and then continue and there you go as you can see now you need to confirm that you are the rightful owner of that domain name so you should have received an email again go and open that email in your mailbox click the link inside that email and then come back to this page and now you can see that your domain name is fully registered so now we can come back to the home page and the next step is to set up our hosting as you can see here premium shared hosting is pending setup so let's click on this and it's a very simple five-step process so let's start now so you can select one of those options or skip altogether, whichever you want. Right here, you can select, are you going to migrate your website or build a new website? You're most likely building a new website. And then from here, you need to select which content management system you want to use for your website. So it's most likely WordPress, which is the most popular. So let's click select. And then do you want to add WooCommerce to it if you want to build an e-commerce website? And then create a password and click continue. And then you can select a theme as well if you wanted to. So these are all based on the Astra theme. So this is really up to you. So let's select one, for instance. Let's go with this one here, maybe select. And then you choose the domain name. So this is the one we just registered. Or you can link another one. That's really up to you. So let's click select. And one last step before we finish our setup is to select the server location. So as you can see, you can select among all these different options. So select either the one that's the nearest to you or the nearest to your target audience, obviously, you know. So let's say if most of your visitors are coming from America, you can select among two different options. You have USA or uh, Arizona and then you have North Carolina. So again, East Coast, West Coast, really up to you. Maybe if your customers are based in Europe, you might select one based in Europe. So in our case here, we're based in Ireland. So we might select Lithuania, which is probably the nearest and then click change and then finish setup. And there you go. As you can see, well done. You are ready. So basically everything has been taken care of. So we've registered the domain name. We set up our hosting and the SSL certificate, WordPress and the theme has been installed all together for us in just one click of the mouse. So super easy to use. And now from here, you can decide whether you want to go to your WordPress dashboard and start editing your website or do you want to go back to the hosting or control panel. So let's go back to our control panel. Very good, and as you can see here, your website is running smoothly. No issues were found, which is absolutely perfect. So from here, basically, you have access to everything. Your file manager, your database, your WordPress dashboard, etc., etc. So now I'm just going to show you one more thing, which is how to create emails linked to your domain name. So for this, we go to emails, click on this email account, and then click on the account to which you want to create emails for. Very good. And now let's click on this one here, the big plus sign. And from this screen, all you have to do is put the email address that you want to create. So for instance, bookings at taxibookingwebsite.com. It could be info at, maybe accounts at, sales at, or maybe your name at, whichever you want, okay? And then insert a password and then let's click create. And there you go, as you can see, info at taxibookingwebsite.com was created. Now you can create as many as you want, obviously. So after this, we can go back to our website now. And from here, you can either manage your website or edit the website. So if you click on edit website, this will bring you to the WordPress dashboard. So let's click on this together. So it's going to bring us to this page. So now we can X out of this and go back to the WordPress dashboard. Now you can access the WordPress dashboard differently by typing immediately your domain name forward slash and then WP hyphen admin and then enter the credentials that you use once you created the account here, obviously. You know so either way is fine so let's have a quick look at our wordpress dashboard so if you click on this you can see we have version 6.1.1 install which is the latest at the moment uh, at the time of recording this video now you can click on dismiss and now we have a much cleaner environment already so there are a few plugins that are installed uh, by default when you use Hostinger, like all-in-one migration, etc. So we're going to get rid of some of the plugins that we don't need. And we are also going to install the plugins that we need for the taxi booking system. So if you go to the plugin section here first, as you can see, have all these different plugins, some that we don't use at all, you know. So what we're going to do is basically disable them and delete them all together. So we can get rid of this one here. Hello as well the hosting one and WP form. All we need to keep is Lightspeed Cache WooCommerce and that's basically it. And we can get rid of this one as well. So what we're going to do for is to deactivate them. So basically we're just going to keep those two, Lightspeed Cache and WooCommerce. Okay, so now you can bulk select them all, untick those two and then bulk action we're going to delete, apply. Okay, 
Very good, so that's done now. And the light speed cache, we're gonna de deactivate it for now while we work on the website. And we are going to reactivate it afterwards when the website is finished, okay? So this is a caching plugin. So basically some of the changes we're gonna make might not appear immediately if this is enabled. So this is why we're going to disable it initially. So now let's add a few additional plugins. So let's add a new one. So the first one is called maintenance. Very good, so this is the very first one here from Web Factory. Install this. So basically a maintenance uh, plugin will uh, display a maintenance page while you work on the website, basically, you know. And there you go, as you can see, the maintenance mode is on by default. You can enable it and disable it by accessing this tab here, which means that now if anyone wants to access your website, they won't be able to access it, basically. It will display a maintenance page. So let me show you this in an incognito page. Open this together. And there you go, as you can see, taxi booking, maintenance mode is on. Uh, and that's basically it, okay? So nobody will be able to see any changes until you disable the maintenance mode. And now we need to install our taxi booking system. So for this, we're gonna use this plugin here. So chauffeur taxi booking system for WordPress from Quantica Labs. So this one is available on the Envato marketplace on codecanyon.net. As always, I'll leave a link in the description below. So as you can see, the price of this is 69 US dollars, which is not too bad considering how comprehensive this solution is. It's absolutely packed with features. And I guarantee you, you can build any taxi booking website using this uh, plugin. So all you have to do basically is to add to cart and proceed to checkout, and then you can come back to the WordPress dashboard and add the new plugin. So this time we're gonna click add new, Upload plugin because this is the one we downloaded from the Envato Marketplace and then we're going to choose the file and the file you download it from the Envato Marketplace will come as an archive. You have to extract that and then open the folder and within that folder you'll find a file called Chauffeur Booking System. So that's the one. Click open and then install now. There you go. Now activate. And as you can see here on top, we need to add a Google Map API for our plugin to work. Don't worry, we'll take care of this later on in a few minutes. First, let's install a theme. So this is basically for the look of our website. Okay, so for this, we go to Appearance, Add New Theme. And you have all these themes here being pre uh, presented to you. You know, so you have Hello from Elementor themselves. Uh, you have Astra, you have Ocean WP. So the most popular one of all is Astra at the moment. It's super easy to use. It comes with a, a lot of uh, starter templates as well, which is going to save us a lot of time, obviously. You know? So what we're going to do is install Astra here. Click Install and then Activate. Very good. And now we can install our starter template. So for this, all you have to do is basically hover on top, theme details, and then we go to Astra options here at the bottom. And you see here on top, you have access to 230 plus starter templates. For this, you need to install a little plugin that's called a starter template plugin. So click on this. Very good. And if you scroll down, you see this button here that says build your website now. Let's click on this. We're gonna select Elementor as our page builder. And now we can select among all these different themes. So some of them are premium, so you have to pay for that, you know, and some of them are free. So today we are going to use a free version and we're going to go with the simplest one of all, which is most likely this one here. OK, we don't need anything complicated at all. Either of those two will be fine. They're roughly the same, you know. So let's go ahead maybe with the second one, Hot Door Adventures. Let's click on this. So we have a quick preview here, as you can see, this has got nothing to do with taxi or anything like this, you know, but don't worry, we're going to tweak this around and make it our own. So right here, you can upload your own logo if you have it already, but don't worry, we can skip all of this. We're going to take care of this together uh, later on during this uh, tutorial. Now here you can select your colors. So if your company logo is more likely to be with blue or has maybe green, orange, purple, magenta, any of those colors, you can select them immediately right now. So they'll be applied throughout the whole website, which is much more easier, obviously, you know, as you can see, this is a bright blue. So let's go with this one, for instance, and you can also select your font. So a font obviously will set different moods. So this is really up to you. You can select the one you prefer. So as you can see, you have this one here, here, this one, this one, whichever you want, like, you know, let's go with this one, maybe. So let's click continue. Right here, you can uh, select everything and then click submit and build my website. 
and there you go so this is in motion now so that's going to take a few moments maybe i don't know 30 seconds or something you know to build your website and there you go when you see that firework that means that's done okay so now you can click on this uh, button here to go back to the dashboard and right here on top if you hover on the title of the website you have visit site if you right click on this and open in a new tab it will show you the actual website so this is what we have at the moment again like i said it doesn't look like a website uh, for taxi booking at all but don't worry about it we're going to tweak everything around ourselves later on during this tutorial so now let's take care of a few initial settings as well so for this we go to settings general right here make sure that your site title is correct so as you can see i typed in taxi booking you can have a tagline as well so perhaps something like this you know book taxis in and around and then you could put your city dublin or london or paris or whatever you know and then here make sure the administration email address is correct because this is where you're going to receive all your bookings obviously you know so scroll down the page make sure the date format and time is suit is based on your uh, location and then save changes next we go to the permalink so, uh, section here and make sure that you select this one here that's post name so this is much more better for uh, your visitors themselves and also for seo purposes scroll down the page make sure that the custom base for your uh, woocommerce is products forward slash and then click save changes okay so first thing first let's add the google maps api because we are being reminded here to add it to the system obviously so this is the first thing we're going to do so for this you can just google this you know google maps api so right click search on google for this and the recommended website is this one so you need to go on the website that's called developers.google.com let's click on this very good and click get started either here or there it's fine and there you go it's going to bring you to a page similar to this one so what you need to do is create a new project so i already have a few here as you can see but you can click new project if you don't have any projects the button will be immediately here start a new project so let's click on this together and let's give it a name so we're going to call this taxi booking and then create so as you can see it is creating our account at the moment so this is done as you can see this is done so now we can go to open this project and as you can see you are requested to restrict the key we are going to do that so you do maybe later we'll do that manually ourselves okay very good and now we're going to the api section and make sure that those that we need are enabled so by default they should be now with the new version of google cloud but if they're not you might have to do it manually so basically what we need we need maps javascript apis enabled we need places api enabled we need directions api enabled geocoding and geolocations api if you have those enabled you'll be fine it'll be working but again like i said normally with the latest version of uh, google maps it should actually uh, actually be uh, enabled already now we're going to create our key our api key so for this we go to credentials so normally you should have created this as well for you automatically if it's not done you can click on create credentials api key and then create a new one altogether you know so this is really up to you if it's not there just create a new one very good and then you will find your api key right here so if you click on those three dots you can edit the api key let's click on this very good so you can give it a name so i'm just going to call it taxi booking okay keep it simple and now we need to uh, restrict that key so basically first we're going to uh, uh, restrict it to the http referrer so that's basically the address of your website so if you go back here just select your url you know so select the address itself whatever your domain name is so we're going to add a first one here so the first one is star dot your domain name forward slash star and click done and we're going to add a second line which is star no dots this time your domain name forward slash star done and this will work each and every time okay and then we need to restrict this to the specific api so let's click on restrict key and this time we're going to select those apis okay so the first one is directions api we have distance matrix geocoding geolocation uh, maps javascript places api and that's basically it okay so let's click okay now very good and let's click save so that's just done now and now you can click on show key copy this 
and now we're going to paste this in the back end okay so now we're back here so you can click on plugin options and then from here select google maps and we're going to paste it here okay Control v that's basically it and then save changes and that's us done and normally if we refresh now that message is gone now as you can see so that's done now so that's perfect and now from here we can set our currency and your length unit as well so if you want to you can upload your logo as well while you're at it you know so this is only for the booking system and the confirmation email so it's, this is not for the front end so if you have a picture of your logo just upload it here so our currency as you can see you can select among all these different options there's loads of them you know so you can select us dollars uh, canadian uh, dollars uh, probably as well uh, euros uh, great british pounds or whatever so let's keep us dollars for now you have your length unit so as you can see you can select kilometers or miles so let's select miles let's say we're based in the united states you can change the date format and the time format as well everything else you can leave as is so scroll down the page and then click save changes so that's us does for, done for all the initial settings so now let's take care of all our uh, booking system here so as you can see if i hover on top with all these different tabs to select from so this is where we're going to set up everything related to our booking system okay so we have the, the booking form with all the extras the vehicles the locations the pricing rules so we're going to cover all of these one by one starting with our vehicles as you can see we have four different tabs here so we have vehicles and types attributes and companies so we have to create those three first before we can create our vehicles so this depends on the type of business that you have so you could be a solopreneur so maybe one taxi maybe you have uh, different drivers or perhaps you run we have different companies and all under one roof if this is the case you can start by creating a different company so let's do this together so let's pretend you have three different companies under one roof okay so let's click on this so let's say you have one based in new york one in dallas and one in chicago for instance okay so let's go with that so let's add new so let's say the first one is in new york you can put the phone number so 01 234 5678 email address info at taxi new york.com for instance okay and then you can put the address so perhaps something like this you know 44th avenue long island in new york and then you can add basically okay publish and then we can do the same with the other two locations so let's add for instance uh, dallas and chicago as well so let's add new so there you go now we have dallas as well we have the full address so let's publish and finally let's add chicago so add new and there you go again we have the name address phone number and the email address as well so let's publish and now let's go back to our vehicle companies and as you can see we have three of them now okay so this is the address and everything phone number and all of that so this is one step taken care of now if you are a solopreneur only one company obviously you only add one here you know so next let's add the attributes what are attributes exactly well these are all the different specs that your vehicle might have that might be of advantage or benefit to your users basically okay so if you run a regular taxi company this could just be maybe wheelchair accessibility maybe air conditioning uh something that's beneficial to your to your users basically okay so let's say perhaps you you you're renting limousines and, uh, and maybe you have the length of the limousine uh, perhaps the color maybe tinted windows uh, alloy wheels led lighting maybe radio music if you have uh, party buses as well you could have all these different options so these are all attributes basically you know so this is very flexible again you can do whatever you want here and add anything you want i'm just going to show you here just a few examples okay so if you wanted to add attributes let's click this add new so let's keep it simple let's call this extras okay and then you can enter the different values so is it text value is it single choice or multiple choice it's more likely to be multiple choice so here you can enter all the different values so let's add for instance air conditioning and then you can add a new one so leather seats perhaps could be of interest to someone you know to your users and maybe let's add sunroof as well okay it's just to show you an example here so if you click publish now and we go back to our attributes now we have the extras now again you can add as many as you want let me show you just an example here from a demo website that we have so if i open this let me zoom in a little bit as you can see you could have interior color the engine size 
extras like we just did, you know, transmission, exterior color, the length, if it's a limousine, that's important, I suppose, the fuel type and the power. So again, this is really up to you what you want to do here and add as many as you want. Now let's take care of our vehicle types. So right here basically is the type of vehicle itself, as the title says, you know, so this could be sedan. Let's add perhaps SUV and maybe a van as well, you know. There you go. Now you could have limousine perhaps. Again, depending on the type of business that you run is maybe not just taxi, solely taxi, could be buses as well or whatever. You know, this works for uh, uh, all sorts of vehicle renters, obviously. You know, So this is uh, one way of doing it. And now we can finally take care of our vehicles themselves. Now that we created the companies, the attributes and the different types, now we can add our vehicles. OK, so let's click on this one. And let's create a new one. So add new. So let's start perhaps with an SUV first, okay? So you can put a description here. So this is the description of the vehicle. Oops, there you go. And then this is an SUV, okay? This is an SUV. And then let's scroll down. So right here we have general prices, attributes, and availability. So this is where we're going to enter all the details related to that vehicle, you know. But first, let's add an image, perhaps. So let's the feature, featured image. Select file. So I'm going to my downloads here. I found one online, so this one is fine. Let's click open and then set as featured image. So this is our SUV, as you can see. And now let's enter all the details. So vehicle make. So let's say this is a Toyota, maybe, okay? Model uh land cruiser i think that's what it is yeah and now we can select the company as well so you can see on the image it says nyc taxi so this is what we're going to select new york okay number of passenger is most likely four number of suitcases there's a big boot so maybe five vehicle standards from one to four i'm not too sure what this one is i looked in the documentation it doesn't say so i'm not too sure what that is so let's leave one for now and then we have the base location so now be careful if you put the base location here this will override the base location from the booking form which is what we're going to take care of later on but by default here i'm just going to put an address here if it's always leaving from the same location you could put it here right there okay so let's Let's go back to the top then we have the prices so first you need to define if it's variable price or fixed price as you can see if i click on this it will only show the fields that i can fill out for fixed and if it's variable it's only those that apply you know so this is up to you really so now this is a very comprehensive solution like i said you know so as you can see you can have the initial initial and return Initial return as a new ride, delivery, delivery with return, per mile, per mile with return, and so on and so on, per hour, per hour return, so per waypoint. So you can add all these different uh, charges, all these different fees, and calculate everything automatically based on your business model, obviously, you know. So this might seem a bit overwhelming, but basically you only need four different fields uh, by default, you know. So what you need is the first one is delivery. So let's set this to $1.70 maybe per mile after this also $1.70. And then you have the full price per hour, let's say $85 per hour. And now if you have to wait an extra hour or something, we have per extra hour as well. So this is, where is it, per extra hour time here. 85 is just in case if you have to wait for the client you know so this is your extra charges as well and that's basically it at the moment okay so now we go to our attributes and this is why we needed to set that up you know as you can see with air conditioning leather seats and sunroof so for this one we're going to select air conditioning and leather seats it doesn't have a sunroof as you can see there's advertisement on top so we're going to have those two and availability so when is this one available when can you book it so as you can see here, you can select the days you're working. So all day, so Monday to Sunday, or maybe you only work five days a week or something like this, depending, you know. So you could select this maybe like this, you know, and then select only Monday to Friday, or perhaps it's only during the weekend, you know. Whichever it is, uh, select those days. So let's keep all days for now. And you can also exclude some dates. So let's say you're going on holiday or something like this, you know, you obviously you're not available at that time. You can add the dates here and that's basically it, okay? So now let's click publish. Very good. So let's go back to our vehicles. 
So there you go. So we have our SUV, we have the image. So that's a quick overview of all the available vehicles and you have all the pricing structure right there. So it's easy for you to have a quick overview of what's happening, you know, and you can do so with as many vehicles as you have, obviously, you know. Now let's go back in there again and let me show you in the pricing, you have the taxes as well that we didn't set up. So if you go to prices, as you can see, the taxes are not set. So if you are tax uh, VAT registered and uh, you are taxable, obviously, you know, uh, you need to go into tax rate as well and set those up. So let's add these together. So let's say your tax rate, USA VAT rate at, let's say, I think, it's, is it 10% in the US? I think, isn't it? And let's put 10% here, okay? And is that your default tax rate? Let's say yes on everything and let's publish. So there you go. This is your VAT rate setup now. And now you can apply this again back to uh, our vehicles. And now we can open this one. And now we can apply this to all our pricing. So as you can see, 170 tax rate, 10%, 10% here, the full 10% here as well, those ones. And that's basically it. Okay. So now this is a taxable, obviously. So there you go. That's all for our vehicles. Now, again, you can add as many vehicles as you have on the road and, and create the pricing structure and also availability. So next, let's take care of our routes here. So routes or, or routes, depending where you're based in the world. So what are these exactly? Well, if you offer, let's say, sightseeing around New York, maybe you go and, and have all the same uh, different point, point of view and uh, tourist attractions and all that, you know. So this is something you can add right here and make it available for a certain price, obviously, you know. So let's add a new one. Okay, so let's call this one New York City Tour, okay? And then right here, you can add all the different waypoints. So I'm going to add a few here. So you would start maybe from uh, this address here, you know, uh, 1552 Broadway in New York. There you go. And then you add a second one. So add a new one after this one, okay? That's the next location. And then we're going to add somewhere around Central Park. There you go. And then we add another one. And there you go. I've added all the waypoints. And this is what it looks like on the map. And you'll be going around uh, Central Park, basically, and showing all these different attractions to your uh, visitors, basically. Okay. And then you can go into prices. So as you can see here, it will show all the different vehicles that you have. You can enable or disable it. So maybe some vehicles are not av available for this. Maybe some are, you know. And then you can set your prices right here. And then you can have the pickup hours as well. So since this is sightseeing, maybe you want to do this between 10 and 4 p.m., you know, just to make sure during daylight or something like this, in which case you can add the hours right here. So you have the format here, as you can see, from 9 until a certain time. And this is basically it. And then after this, click Update. Very good. And now let me show you another example of routes that you can add. So let's say perhaps you have a special agreement with one specific hotel. So let's call this one the Manhattan at Times Square Hotel to JFK Airport. OK, this is just an example, obviously, you know. So let's put the location here. So let's select the Manhattan Square Hotel. This is the one. And we're going to add, we're going to go to JFK. So JFK Airport. There you go. And that's basically it, you know. So this is your route, number two. And then you can set the price per taxi, see who's available or not. And then you can have the pickup hours. So I suppose to the hotel, uh, to JFK, this is anytime, 24-7, it should be. So you can leave this empty and then click publish. So let's go back to our rules here. And as you can see, we have two of them. And obviously, you can create as many as you want. Okay, very good. So now let's take care of our locations. So what's the difference between routes and locations? Well, this is like a city tour. You always go around the city in the same way, the same manner. And this is always from the same hotel to the airport, you know. But the location is slightly different. So here you can also add the airport. And this could be your pickup location or drop-off location. So when someone goes and registers online and books a... Uh, a ride they can either select this as the drop-off location or the uh, pickup location okay so let's add this so let's pretend you have gfk again we're going to add this together here so this is gfk let's click publish and let's add a second one perhaps let's say the statue of liberty okay there you go let's select this national monument and let's publish so let's go back to our locations and obviously you can add as many as you want, you know, maybe your most uh, famous hotels, maybe landmarks or anything basically. OK, so this is something to make it easy for your visitors to, to select the drop off or uh, the pickup location.
Okay, so now let's take care of the geofencing. So what is that exactly? Well, basically you can set limitations geographically on your territory as far as you will go. So basically if I click on add new here, you will understand immediately. So let's say you only walk central New York. So we're going to look for New York here on the map. Okay. There you go. So let's zoom out a little bit. So as you can see, New York is quite big and broad, obviously, you know, so maybe you only cover uh, this area of New York. So how can you uh, limit this to this area specifically? Well, you can use dots like this, you know, go all around this area here. Okay. And maybe you go to New Haven, maybe perhaps, you know, as far as here, Waterbury, maybe back here, all around New York. And that's basically it. So now this is basically your limitations. You're not going to go any farther than this. So anyone going to your website and who wants to book a taxi ride and want to, to start from Danbury will not be able to book online because you only cover this area basically. Okay. So once you're done, all you have to do is click publish. Okay, so next we can add drivers as well. So this doesn't apply so much to taxi drivers because uh, usually you book a taxi and you get the, the taxi service, the vehicle that you book, not so much the driver. But this is just to show you that this is available. So let's say if you were to offer maybe premium uh, experience, maybe an Audi S8 or a Mercedes S Class or something like this, and you want obviously a specific driver, you can add this here and then you can book a certain ride from A to B with John, your favorite driver, or maybe Sean or Patrick or whichever, you know. So this is basically how this works. It's just to show you the option. We're not going to use this ourselves, but this is there. Basically, this option is available. And so next we have our booking extras. And this is the last step before we can create our booking form. So what are booking extras? Well, it could be, for instance, uh, booster seats for kids, maybe, uh, let's say, or perhaps bodyguard, maybe airport assistance and hostess, maybe someone uh, waiting for you, you know, with, the, with, the, with your name tag and everything at the airport or something like this. So these are basically all different options. Maybe you offer uh, beverages or snacks or drink the ride or something like this, maybe champagne or whatever, you know. So here you can add a new one. So let's add this together. So let's just create a one. So let's say booster seat for the kids, you know. This could be one, you can put the description you have the quantity, the maximum number is probably only one booster seat uh, per, uh, let's say, uh, per ride. Maybe you have two of them available, then you can add, perhaps, let's say, airport assist assistance. Uh, they'll be waiting for you there. So you could put the description, uh, we'll wait for you with a name tag, you know, for instance, like this, you know, and then you can have the quantity It's usually one. Is it mandatory? Yes or no. And then the price. So if you wait for them, let's say half an hour, let's say you're going to charge an extra $30 and maybe you can put here for half an hour, you know, just something like that. And then can we can publish then. And then you can do so with as many extras as you have. So as you can see at the moment, you have airport assistance, booster seat, but again, it could be anything really, you know. Okay, so now let's create our booking form. So let's click on this and let's add new and let's get started. So let's call this one booking form. You know, let's keep it simple. And now we can set everything up. So this is basically the booking form that will be displayed in the front end that your visitors can use to book any ride. Okay, so now we can set everything up. So as you can see here with the form ID, with the short call. So this is basically what we are going to copy on our page and it will display a beautiful form for your visitors to see. Now there are loads of additional features here that you can use to configure this based on your set of circumstances. As you can see, you have the booking sending period, uh, the booking interval. So basically maybe you want 20 minutes interval between every bookings. This is really up to you. Uh, you can change, uh, set the minimum distance, the minimum duration, uh, minimum booking value, uh, not to waste your time, basically, you know. So these are things that you can use as well, again, uh, to set this based on your personal uh, business model, obviously, you know. So the layout might be a bit confusing here. So basically on top, if I was to zoom out, you'll understand better, you see. Basically on top, these are our main tabs and these are submenu part of this tab, you know, so this is underneath. So if I go to availability, payment, there we 
have different tabs in each and every section but because we need to zoom in here for you to see everything i'm doing you know uh, it's a bit out of shape but that's basically how it works okay so we're in the general tabs main now you can go into services and transfer you can set this up as well if you wanted to you have the location so remember we created those locations now you can have them as pickup location and drop off location based on distance or hourly as well so let's select these okay so if you uh, multi-select you use the control key okay there you go they all selected so that's basically it now okay so you have the routes as well so do you want to have the new york city tour basically everything we select here will be displayed in the front end and your visitors can select uh, and choose them okay so we have passengers so here you can set the amount of passengers basically adults and children this only works with variable uh, and as you can see we created a vehicle that has variable pricing so this is the case so we could enable this for us now if you selected fixed price you can't use this obviously you know now we can select the different vehicles so which vehicles do you want to use for this we're going to use the one only one we have at the moment is the suv and then if the suv has some booking extras we can add them as well you know so all of them or none so basically all the extras are those you just added previously so prices and basically here you can set the calculation method so is it by distance distance per duration distance plus duration times the number of passenger per passenger or distance plus duration plus passenger so again like we said it's very very comprehensive solution here but by default it's all by distance because this is what we selected so we're just going to leave it as is for now you know again feel free to go through all these different options there are too many uh, for us to cover here you know i'm just showing you all the essentials so next we have the availability so here you can put the starting time so maybe you start maybe it's 24 7 i don't know or maybe you start only at 8 in the morning let's say okay so we start or maybe 6 in the morning so let's say from 6 till let's say 22 so 10 p.m okay every day so you could do this with all of them so basically something like this you know you work every day from 6 till 10 p.m and you can exclude some dates as well perhaps you might be on holiday or something like this okay and so anyway the payment options here so as you can see you have cash stripe or paypal maybe you want to get paid up front before uh, you go and pick them up or something like this if it's cash obviously you might risk you, you, there might be a chance that they might not show up or something or someone may play a, a silly prank on you but if you select stripe or paypal you can enable this as well you know so if you enable those two stripe and paypal obviously you have to link this to your uh, paypal account and stripe account so if you go to payments here as you can see you have stripe and paypal in which case all you have to do is enter your email address here and if you want to test it you can enable sandbox as well and with stripe is the same principle you have the secret uh, key and the publishable pu publishable key sorry and then you can select all the payment methods that are link to stripe so same principle okay so just for now we're just going to enable cash because it's easier for us obviously to run test and then we have the driving zone so do you want to enable this yes or no since we have geofencing in our place we don't need this uh, form elements you can add different elements to your form as well and customize it very nice as well you can have your notifications see how do you want to, how do you want to be notified by email one h sms Twilo, SMS, Vonage and Twilo or Telegram. So depending on which options you have, you can set, select any of these. So let's say you have a Gmail account, you have your mobile phone with you all the time. You could use this as well, you know. So let's just add an email address, for instance, you know, hello at mrweb.tv and let's go to the next one so now let's go to google maps so basically here you would leave everything the, the way it is but now you can calculate the route as being the fastest or the shortest you can also avoid tolls perhaps and ferries you might not want to cross uh, the waters and then you have diff uh, traffic layers draggable location and so on and so on you know everything else is pretty self-explanatory here anyways so next we have google calendar so if you are using Google Calendar, you can enable this and then enter your Google uh, Calendar ID. So I'm just going to disable this for now. We're not going to use it. And then we have the style, obviously, you know. So this is where you can change the colors of your uh, form, basically. So if you look at this, this is our website. So the main color is this blue. So if you want to fetch the color, you can right click on it, inspect. And you can see all these colors, if you click on one of them, as you can see, we have a code here. So this is called a hexa hexadecimal code 
And then you can go back to your WordPress dashboard and paste it here without the hashtag. And as you can see, this is our color. Or you can select among all of these shades yourself, you know, manually. So let's just paste it here anyways. Now, be aware that if you change one value, you'll have to change all the values. So what you'll have to do, if you want to keep the rest the same, you have to copy and paste them here. Okay, so copy, control C, control V. Control C, Control V, and do the same with all the others. And then now we go back to general, and we're gonna need the short code here. So you click on copy here, and now we can insert this on any page of our website just to test it out, okay? So let's go to pages here. Let's select our home page. There it is, so edit with Elementor. So right click, open in a new tab. And welcome to Elementor. So Elementor is a drag and drop page builder, which makes it very easy to change any content and build any pages, basically. So this is our home page. As you can see, if I click on this, we have a section. Each section is made out of different columns, columns and each column has different elements, which are called widgets. And as you can see, this one is a button. This one is a heading. This one is a heading as well. And that's basically it. Okay, so this is how this works. Now let's add our form inside this page, okay? So let's go ahead. So now we need a short code. So you look for short code. So this is the widget that we need. And we're gonna place this right here, here at the bottom, okay? Just there, okay? And now let's insert the code that we just copied. And then let's click update. So let's have a quick preview. You can see the little eye here, click on this. So there you go, as you can see, this is our website and this is our booking system. So it is uh, in four different steps. You enter the right details, you should choose the vehicle, then enter your contact details and finally you confirm the booking. So as you can see, you can select among three options at the moment. We have the distance, hourly or flat rate all together. So here you can select your city tour or perhaps go from the Manhattan Times Square Hotel to GFK Airport like we selected, you know, whichever. If it's hourly, you can select your pickup date and then the pickup location where you're going. This is a one way system by hour or by distance altogether. So let's try this one first. OK, so let's select our pickup date. So let's say tomorrow at, let's say, 10 a.m. And you want to get picked up and collected from. So let's say from this address here and you're going to J. FK airport okay let's say terminals uh JFK this is the one here so that's basically it as you can see immediately on the map so this would be just a one way because you're going to the airport you're probably, probably flying out so how many adults let's say one adult is just yourself and any extra time maybe one hour at the airport to help you with the luggage okay so next we can choose our vehicle oh yeah sorry you need to enter how many children so zero here so choose a vehicle now Perfect. So obviously we only have the SUV. So this is the one we're going to select. You can have the booster seat if you have uh, and then airport assistance. So let's say you want to add this as well. OK, and now let's go ahead. So let's scroll down. So this would be a total of one fifty eight dollars. So let's continue. And then right here, you're going to enter your details, obviously, you know. So there you go. Perhaps something like this, you know, and then we're going to pay by cash. So all you have to do is click on this. So let's continue booking summary. And then if we're happy enough, this is basically a quick overview of our trip, basically. OK, and then we can book now. Very good. So this is done now. OK, so now let's go back to our WordPress dashboard and we're going to click on chauffeur booking system. And there you go. As you can see, now we have one booking which is pending at the moment for a total price of one hundred fifty eight and eighty five. Obviously, if you had Stripe or PayPal set up, they'd be able to pay immediately but here we selected cash just for the ease of testing this feature obviously you know so let's click on booking so now as you can see this one is pending at the moment so once it's accepted you say okay we we, we have a driver for this you can say accept it and then click update and your customers will be made aware immediately they will receive obviously an update themselves okay so as you can see now the booking has been processed and accepted and your customers know he's been updated as well so he knows the status of the order he doesn't have to worry because he knows that on the day you will show up and come to pick him up so let's go back to our home page so let's click on this to refresh and let me show you another option available. So as you can see at the moment, we can select the pickup location and the drop off location. So let's go back to our form itself. So do you remember in the general service and then locations, you could have selected JFK airport or any of those. OK, so if I select this like that, OK, and remove none. So just select those two and now click update. 
Let me show you the difference. So if I refresh now, as you can see, your visitors can only select among those options. So I can go from JFK to the Statue of Liberty or from the Statue of Liberty to JFK Airport, basically, okay? So this is another option that might be available and suitable to you. I just wanted to put it up there so that you can decide for yourself, okay? But normally by default, you should select none and then they all have the option to enter the pickup and drop off location. There you go. So that's basically it. So now let's go back to the front end and let's take care of our home page because obviously this is the most important one. So we're going to change the hero section here. We're going to make sure that this section stands out and also tweak everything around here to fit our taxi booking template. OK, so let's go ahead with this. So we go back to Elementor. We had this page opened already. So if you click on the main section here on top, this is basically our uh, hero section. If you go to style, this is basically where the image is. So now we can replace it. All you have to do is basically click on it and then we can upload a new file, select file. So I found one online here. Nice view of New York with a few taxis, you know. And then insert media. There it is. So that looks absolutely great, doesn't it? So now, depending on the size of your image, you might have to change the position as well. At the moment, it's top center. But if you select it center center, perhaps, or bottom, uh, you see, it will move slightly, you know, uh, bottom center, whichever way it is, you know. So feel, uh, select the one that uh, suits you best, obviously. Center center, it'll be basically centered on X and Y axis. And then we can change the background overlay. So at the moment, as you can see, it is black. So if you want to change this, maybe you want it to be more blue, more vibrant. Maybe you want to add a yellow color. Since our website has a blue tone, maybe you can add a blue color. So let's select perhaps a dark blue like this. OK, and then you can change the opacity. So zero being fully clear and one being fully opaque. So you want to choose something that's maybe Maybe bang on in the middle, maybe 0.7 or something like this. You know, you want enough contrast for the title to be easy uh, read. And that's basically it. OK, so right here on top, this is your main heading. So let's type maybe something obvious. You know, when they land on your website, what is it that you do? It has to scream. They have to know immediately. So New York taxis. Simple. That's it. Easy to understand. OK. And you have the subheading here on top. You can change this. So maybe something like this. You know, we cover the whole central New York from 6 a.m. till 10 p.m. And that's basically it. very easy, like I said, you know. So we have a call to action button here. As you can see, it says learn more, maybe book now. OK, and then we are going to link this to this section here just underneath. But let's finish this section first. So this is basically everything for our hero section. This looks absolutely fine. So let's scroll down. So this is where our booking system is. We have a bit of a, a quote here, so we don't need this. So right click, delete. Then we have all this section here. So it's up to you really if you want to keep it, tweak this around, add some text, maybe more images about your location, about yourself, whichever it is, you can keep it. If you don't want it, all you have to do is click on this, delete, and that's basically, now it's gone, okay? So what we can do is to add maybe a title here, so a heading, so let's add this here. And let's call this book now. We can center this. We go to advanced and we're going to add a bit of breathing space on top and bottom. So on top, perhaps 100 pixels. Ooh, that's maybe too much, maybe 50. And let's do the same at the bottom. OK, perfect. So each and every time you make a change, you can click update to make sure to save your changes and they can have a quick preview as well, you know, just to make sure everything is OK. So as you can see, it looks absolutely fantastic. When you land there, there's no doubt whatsoever what you do and where you're based. You know, you offer New York taxis and basically that's all. And if you scroll, scroll down, here, you have our booking system right here. OK, so let's scroll down and let's have a look. So we have explored the world. So that doesn't fit, obviously, so we can change this as well. So let's go back here again. If you want to change the background image, click on the main section here. Go to style, click on the image and we can upload our new image now and then we can upload a new file. So again, I found one online here of New York. So let's click open. Let's insert media. There you go. So that looks absolutely fine. And now we can change the title and the content here as well. You know, 
So instead of explore the world, you could have a short about a section because a lot of people are wondering maybe who you are, where you're based, what's your history, how long you've been in business. And then you can click on this here and just put a small summary of who you are, basically, you know. So let's type something maybe like this, you know. There you go, a bit of text. Uh, Welcome to Central New York Taxi, the premier transportation provider in the heart of New York and da da dee da da da, you know. And again here we can have a button here that says book now. You know, and then we can link this afterwards to our book now form here. So let's link those two now. OK, so basically, how can you jump directly from here to there and from this one straight up here? It's very easy. Actually, if you click on this section here, you go to advanced a CSS ID right here. You know, so this is basically where you can change this. So let's say booking underscore system. OK. So let's copy this control C. Now, if you go back up here and you click on this button, you hashtag and then you put booking system and we do the same with the other one. OK, right here, hashtag and then booking system. So let's click update. Now let's have a quick preview. Now if you click on this, as you can see, will bring us automatically to this section. And if you scroll down and click on this one, it goes straight back up to the booking system as well. So that's a very handy feature again, isn't it? Very good. So we are almost done now. So let's take care of this section here. So what can you put here? Well, maybe upcoming tours and destination. That's not actually too bad. You know, uh, you could say instead of upcoming, select various tours and destinations, plural. Yeah. And then right here, you can have a bit of explanation as well. And then right here, you could have maybe a picture of the Statue of Liberties, maybe Central Park or something like this. So if you want to change those pictures again, all you have to do is click on them, click on this, upload a new file and let's upload a few files. So I found another four pictures online. So let's select them all. So let's open this. So there you go. So let's select maybe this one for the first one. Maybe here we could have another one. So let's select perhaps the Statue of Liberty. And then we can add one more here, perhaps a skyscraper here. Insert media. So as you can see, you probably don't need this one afterwards. You know, those three are fine. So we could delete this if you wanted to. There you go. And this is great. No, that's fine now. Now, obviously, you can resize this as well. You know, if you wanted to grab this, you can make this smaller. As you can see, now it's the same height. Or you can make this one a bit smaller or bigger, whichever way you want. Basically, you can play along with this, you know, but I think this is more symmetrical. This law lo looks more uh, finished and polished, obviously, you know. So don't, as always, don't forget to click update in between. And again, we can add this here as our booking system. So book now. And then here you can add again booking system, you know. So let's scroll down the page. So all that's left is basically the footer section here and our menu section as well. So we cannot change this from within uh, Elementor. So what we need to do now is to go back to our WordPress dashboard for this. And from here, we're going to go to appearance and then customize. There you go. And right on top, we have the header builder, as you can see. So if you click on this, it will give you the option. So as you can see, we have the site title and the logo, which is this. We're going to change this. We have the main button, which is the call to action and also the primary menu right here. So we're going to change all this together now. So first, let's take care of our menu uh, uh, logo. Sorry. So let's click on this. So as you can see, by default, it will show us the transparent mode. But if you go back here just a second, if I click on site uh, title and logo, you have two variations. You have black, so this is for a white background, and then you have white for also a transparent header. So either way, it's absolutely fine, you know. So we can remove this, remove this one, upload the logo. So we're going to upload two variations, two types, okay? One in black and one in white, okay? So I kept it simple here. I just said a taxi booking very easily, you know. Now, uh, obviously, it will be your own logo. So let's select this. We're going to skip cropping here. And we're going to do the same with this one. OK, so this is one mode and now click on customize transparent header and let's do the same with the white one. OK, so remove, remove, select image and this time let's select the one in white and let's do the same here again in white. There you go. As you can see now we have our logo here that says taxi booking. 
Now, if the logo is too big, you can select the width as well, maximum width, you know? So you can play around with this if it's too big or maybe too small, whichever way you prefer, you know? So I think 150 was about perfect, you know? Uh, maybe 149 like this, this is fine. So that's basically it. And as you can see, you have two different modes. You have the logo and then Retina uh, logo. So this is for higher resolution devices like iPads and MacBook Pros as well. Now let's take care of our call to action button here. So let's say book now. And again, like we said, very easy hashtag and then booking underscore system. Okay. So let's click publish. Let's go back to our homepage and let's refresh. So there you go. As you can see, now we have our own logo book. Now, if you click on this, it's going to bring us immediately to our booking system. So all of this is working absolutely fine. Let's scroll down the page. Let's see if we have all our images so about us and select various tools and destinations with those images. This looks absolutely perfect, doesn't it? Now we have a footer section here. So let's take care of this. So for this, we go back to our WordPress dashboard and we're going to exit out of this altogether because this is a widget now. So for this, we go to appearance widgets. You can close this, collapse all of these. And as you can see, you have the header, footer and footer. So this is those two. Basically, if you open this, as you can see, this is where the address is. And here you can add even more information if you wanted to. So let's have a quick look. So all we have basically is this and that's basically all. And then you can simply edit this by clicking on it, you know, so you can type in your address, your phone number. So perhaps maybe it's 01234567. And then here you can put uh, contact at your domain.com. OK, now if you click update. And let's go back to our home page and let's refresh. And let's have a quick look. And there you go. Now we have our few, uh, new phone number and your domain name.com as well. And then here underneath you see you have copyright 2023 taxi booking. So this will be fetched automatically. This will fetch the domain, the name of your uh, website. So basically, if you go back here, if you go to settings and then general, this is basically the name here, okay? Taxi booking, this is what will show up here. So this should normally be the name of your company, taxi booking LLC or something like that. Now let's go back to the top of our page just to show you the menu section. So obviously web home, about services, projects and contact. So you might want to keep some of those pages, you know, and create them uh, individually. So if you click on the contact page, this will bring you to this page here. Again, we can edit this ourselves. So let's create just this page together, contact, and then I'm going to show you how you can change the menu section all together. So back here, we go to pages. As you can see, you have all these pages, you have home, contact, project, uh, services. So let's edit the contact page. So again, right click, edit with Elementor, open the other tab. And now we can edit everything ourselves. So again here, let's click on this. Let's change the background. Let's add another picture. So again, let's select some New York scenery, perhaps this one here or this one, all the same, you know, there you go. Contact us. Now you can edit this very easily. All you have to do is basically click on it and change the text here, you know. So since this is already in New York, we're just going to keep it the way it is. The email address you can change here. So instead of example, you're going to put your domain.com. OK, and the same with the phone number. You can change the number for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight or something like that. OK, right here, as you can see, we have three social media icons. Click on them. You can add as many as you want and remove as many as you want. So let's say if you wanted to add Instagram, click on this, select the icon. Look for Insta. There you go. Add insert. OK, and then you can add the link basically to your social media platform, your landing page. So I'm going to put a hashtag here as an example, but this would be actually the landing page to your Instagram account. You can do the same with Facebook. You can do the same with Twitter. You can do the same with YouTube. So let's say you don't have a Twitter account or you don't have a YouTube channel. You could simply delete it by clicking the X sign. OK, so let's click update for now. And right here, as you can see, we have a contact form. So if you click on this, this is not something that you can change from here. It's using a short code. So that means that it is using the properties of another plugin. So for, to change this, we have to go back to the WordPress dashboard. And as you can see here, we have WP form. So that's the one basically. OK, 
So if you click on this, we have to contact form. And as you can see, here it says WP form ID number six, which is exactly what we have here. So this is the one. Now, if you click on this, we can tweak this around basically, you know, and make it your own. So at the moment, it's asking for your name, email address, and your message. Maybe you want to add something else. Maybe you want to ask for uh, this, the phone number, okay? Or something like this. So let's add a single line together. So that may be here in the middle. So this one will be called maybe phone number, okay? And is this one mandatory or not? Perhaps not. This is up to you again. So this is how you can add a field. It's basically a simple drag and drop feature. Now, where is this message going to be sent to? You go to settings, notifications, and right here, you're going to enter your email address. So by default, it will fetch the admin email address, which is the one you entered in WordPress, but you might as well type it immediately. So hello at mrweb.tv. Now you see there's an error message here. Don't worry, it's because I'm using Insta WP here to show you how this works. But once you do that on your own website, it is highly recommended that your email address ends up with the same domain name as the one you're on, basically. Okay, so let's click save. Let's close this. And that's basically it. Now, if you go to the contact page and let's refresh. There you go. Now we have New York background. As you can see, we've changed everything. We added uh, Instagram as well. And now it's asking us for the phone number as well. So let's go back here. So as you can see, now I have home, about, services, project, and contact. Maybe you just want to keep home and contact page. And that's basically it. Keep it simple. So for this, we go back here now and let's take care of our menu section. So again, all the pages are here. You can use all of them. This is really up to you. You have contact, home, uh, you have uh, services. So if you wanted to edit the services page, do the same principle, edit with Elementor, tweak everything around, save your page. And then after this, we go to appearance, menus. And this is basically where you can tweak all the items that will display in the menu section. So we're not going to keep about services and projects. We're just going to keep two pages, home and contact page. So for this, you can click on the bulk select. So take this one, take that one, take that one. So again, I'll get rid of them, remove selected items. So that's basically it now. Okay. So if you click on save menu, go back to our home page. Let's click on the logo here. And as you can see now, we have our logo, our call to action button, and only two uh, basically links, home and contact. So if I click on contact, we go to the contact page. If I click on home, it's bringing us back to the home page. Now let's go back to our menu section. And if you wanted to add another page, very simply, all you can do is click on view all, and then you can select the pages you want to add. So if you wanted to add about, select this one. If you want to add project, select this one, add to menu. And then you can easily reorganize them by dragging them like this. You know, you can move them around and you can indent them as well. So if I was to do this, you see, now this is going to be a sub menu. So this is main menu and then this sub menu. So let's click save. Let me show you in the front end what it looks like. So let's refresh. There you go. As you can see, home, about, and then this is a sub menu project and this is a single page. OK, so let's go back to our menu section, bulk select, and we're going to delete those. OK, so remove selected items. Let's click save. And that's us done now. Now, let me show you a few additional features that you might need as well. It might come in handy for your project. So as you can see here, we have coupons as well. So coupons are a very nice way of attracting customers, uh, giving them a coupon code, a certain discount code, obviously, you know, and this will help you, especially to promote your business online and all of that. So basically here you can click on coupons, create a new one. So you have a coupon code. So this will be generated automatically. You can set a certain usage count, usage limit. So let's say maybe the first 50 people to use this will get a discount. Or if not, just leave it empty if it's for everyone. And what percentage are you going to give them? So let's say maybe 20% discount, okay? On which vehicles? It could be all vehicles or maybe just on SUVs. If you have SUVs, a limo, or maybe S-Class, Mercedes, or something like this, maybe you want something specific, you want to promote those ones, you can select that vehicle as well. And active from and to maybe is just a special offer just for one week, in which case you can have the active from and to then, okay? So after this, all you have to do is click publish. There you go. And now you can share that coupon code with all your friends, all your communities online, and you're going to get even more sales and more bookings. 
So next, you can also add different currencies. So that's very convenient, obviously, you know, if you click add currencies. So by default, you'll be trading in US dollars or the main currency you selected, but you can have other currencies as well. So if you have maybe a lot of visitors coming to your country, they might you might be dealing with uh, Canadian dollars or something like this, you know, perhaps, I don't know, or maybe euros or maybe pounds and so on. You can add them here and that's basically it, you know. So this will allow you to deal in multi-currencies then. And now let's go back to our booking forms. There is something I didn't show you yet. So let's go back here. And as you can see, we have WooCommerce. So WooCommerce is an e-commerce platform that's uh, built in into WordPress uh, that we installed initially here. So you can enable this if you wanted to. So what is the difference between WooCommerce and the others? Why would you like to enable WooCommerce rather than the built-in system here? Well, basically, if you go to the payment solution here, as you can see at the moment, all we have is Stripe and PayPal. So let's say if you wanted to use Apple Pay, Amazon Pay, Google Pay, uh, maybe Authorize.net or any of those payment methods, these are not available here. So in which case, what you would do is to enable WooCommerce, if you say enable, yeah, and then you can go into WooCommerce and then enable those payment methods from WooCommerce itself. And this way you can add multiple payment methods on your website. So let's go back to our booking system. As you can see here, the map is not really nice. It's not showing everything. It's basically, this is a satellite view, you know. So you can change this as well, obviously, you know. So if you go back here now in your Google Maps uh, section here, if you scroll down, there's a few features you can change. As you can see, the type here. So if you want to enable the map type control, you can enable this. So the customer can do that from his side. And then you can select here maybe a roadmap. You have the style as well, you know, uh, horizontal bar, uh, drop down menu. So let's go with horizontal bar and then we're going to keep top center for now. OK, so let's update. Let's go back to our uh, booking system here. And there you go. As you can see, now we have a roadmap and you can switch from one to the other. You can go from map to satellite, whichever, you know, which is much easier for your customers. Now, obviously, this is bringing us anywhere uh, in the world. So what we want is maybe to be at the same location all the time. So as you can see, a default location. So let's enter a default location just like this. OK, and let's click update again. And let's have a quick refresh. And there you go. It would always start from New York now, as you can see, because you are based in New York, obviously, you know. So if I was to look for a location here now, and I'm going to the Statue of Liberty, for instance, okay. And there you go. This is working fine. And I kept the best for last. So these are two unique features that you will not find anywhere else, which makes this solution very unique. And these are pricing rules and availability rules. So with those two, you can set specific conditions on your website based on your business model. So we're going to just use the pricing rules here. You can discover availability rules. It works the exact same way. So let's go with the pricing rules and let's create a new one together. So let's call this one maybe Friday night or weekend night. OK, so let's say during the weekend at night, uh, you might charge a little extra, you know, just to make more money. And then we can set a condition here. So this is based perhaps on distance. This would be a one way using the booking form. You can also add routes if you wanted to. You can select your vehicles. We're going to leave that empty location. You can also uh, use geofencing, zip code and even country if you go cross country. Uh, you have date and time. So let's say Friday and Saturday and Sunday night from, let's say, perhaps the hours. We're going to select the hours. So let's say from 8 p.m. maybe. OK, so 20. 8 p.m. until maybe 4 in the morning. The next morning, yeah, for maybe five. Let's put five. OK, then what are you going to do? Well, basically, we're going to go to price. And as you can see, you can have the price source type. So you have different rules here. Calculation based on distance or ranges. So here we are going to select calculation based on distance exact range because we know we need to know the exact distance, obviously, you know, and then we can set up our rules here underneath. So this is for a variable price like we had initially. And as you can see, you can select either set the value, increase by value. So you can increase by a dollar, two dollars, whatever, you know, decrease by value. So 
uh, and then increase by percentage. So plus 20%, plus 100%. So let's go increase by percentage here. And maybe on the weekend, you have a surcharge sur 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 of 250% altogether, two and a half times the price, okay? So just to, just to see if this is working. So let's apply this here. And then we do the same per mile, uh, increase by 250%. And perhaps per hour as well, we're going to increase by 250%. That's basically it. Okay, now we're done. So let's click update. Very good. And now let's put this to the test. So here on our map, we're going to select the pickup date. So this has to be on, let's say, Saturday. Uh, or we even said, oh, Saturday the 14th here. Okay. And we're going to select half eight in the evening, the pickup time. So we're going to go from Queens to uh, the Statue of Liberty no extra hour and let's choose a vehicle there you go as you can see now it's 104 dollars instead of the initial 30 dollars or something you know so as you can see the, the extra search the surcharge the extra charge has been applied and we have now a price of two and a half times the normal price and then you can do the same with the availability rule you know so if you go back here let's go and click on this let's create a new one and here you can set conditions based on availability this time, okay? So it could be by distance, hour, flat rate, or perhaps per location. So let's say pick up from JFK and uh, drop off at JFK for the vehicle, let's say SUV is unavailable, let's say altogether. Let's say this one is, I don't know, the car broke down or something like this. You want to set it as unavailable for now. And then that's basically it. You can set the rule, even a temporary rule at the moment and then publish this. And once you finish, you can scrap it all together. So this is how this is working. Now, maybe you want to learn how to use drop shipping to advantage and make a lot of money. If this is the case, go watch this one.